When can people buy then a self-driving Tesla? Hey, good morning, Deirdre. Well, not anytime real soon, right? Not probably during the Obama presidency, but maybe during the next president. Uh, Google has been really aggressive on this. They're talking about maybe being able to have a car ready for market in as little as five years. That may be ambitious. Uh, most of the big car companies are talking about something uh, maybe within 10 years um, and maybe not as fully self-driving as Google is talking about, but it's, uh, it's, it's coming sooner than you would think. And the futuristic car, I'm thinking the Model S, I mean, it reminds me of the Jetsons, right? Well, yeah, I mean, it's such a, a sleek, you know, futuristic looking car, and then you think about it self driving. Uh, but it really depends, you know, how it out plays out, right? Google's talking about almost, you know, a robot chauffeur, right? Something you just get in and you can do the crossword or eat your breakfast while it's driving you to work. Uh, Elon Musk is talking about more what he considers more of an autopilot uh, that, that helps take over. You know, the, you have an autopilot on an airplane. Uh, but the pilot doesn't go back and have a nap uh, in the first class seats, right? Uh, and, and similarly, then uh, down the scale, Toyota talks about more like a co pilot. That's something probably closer to what, what Elon's talking about. But, you know, he's a real car maker now, not just a tech guy. And, and can, right now, is the car going to be different than what someone would get with any other luxury car? Well, yeah, you're, you're right there. There's so much of this technology. The, the building blocks are already being put in place. They've been tested you know, in the real world. We have sensors around our cars that tell us what other cars are nearby, mapping systems that help us know where we are and if we're off track, uh, you know, intelligent cruise control that, that will measure how far you are behind the car that's in front of you and how fast it's going. Some of those can bring you all the way to a stop. So a lot of this technology is already in the cars, but it's getting them integrated and getting them to cooperate with all the other cars. That's, that's the tricky part. And Jamie, it seems like at least investors like some of this news flow. I mean, the stock is taking off, but what is behind the move? What are your sources telling you? Well, there is a lot of enthusiasm around Tesla right now. They're about to report their first quarterly profit tomorrow. Uh, when they were private, Elon talked sometimes about having a profitable month. But this is, you know, uh, uh, audited, you know, gap, uh, gap accounting, a real quarterly profit. Uh, they may not be profitable for the year. Most analysts don't see them doing that. But it's an important first step. And so many other, start, it's just so hard to start a car company. And so many others have failed already. The fact that they are getting to a profit and starting to look like a real car company is, is a really exciting thing for investors who've been wanting to make a pure play on electric vehicles.